Well, hey folks, welcome back. And oh man, what are you doing today? You read the description, you say an old smoky. What's an old smoky? Well, there's a great story behind this old smoky grill. Is that uh, this is an American made product made in Houston, Texas, been made, made there for a long, long time, folks. And what I've done is I've done some modifications to it. So I put these uh, base on it and wheels and everything and did a couple other things to it. Tom Horseman at YouTube, if you want to see how I'm doing that. So today we're doing beef ribs, got them from Walmart. Um, I'm going to do them indirect. So one of the things I did was I took, they have a, what they're calling their charcoal plate, and I'm going to use a diffuser plate, put some tin foil, poke some holes in it. I put a couple extra screws so I have an extra layer. It's going to go on like that. And then our grill grate's going to go on like that. And then the lid's going to go on like, like that. And then you open up the vents like that. So we're going to get these going here and uh, let me get those ribs on and give you a quick look. See, I'll tell you what, why don't you take a look at the ribs first and then we'll put them on. All right, folks, here's the ribs we're doing. I got these from Walmart. Not a whole, I know they look like the feet of army, but there isn't a whole lot of meat on these. So they're beef ribs. Uh, wash them off. A little bit of the Zhang's uh, garlic oil on there, and then a little bit of the Cindy Lou's Voodoo Rib Rub. I really like this stuff. www.rubsandmore.com. Small little company, and I always, I always support the underdogs because they are a small little company based out of California. Stay tuned, and we'll show you these on the old smoke. All right, folks, just put the ribs on. You see smoke's rolling, just starting to come up to temp. Uh, take a quick look with the ribs on there. Like I said, I want to do these low and slow. I've got the... Uh, Charcoal in there. I'm using Royal Oak with the, it's got the hickory infused into it. Three chunks of cherry on there. I used one wax cube from Weber to get them going right in the middle, and we'll see how that does. This thing doesn't seal real tight, so you know the temperatures are probably going to get up there. So let's take a quick look. Yeah, you can see things are rolling nice. Lid back on, and uh, we'll give you a look see as we proceed, folks. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Almost three hours into the cook here. Uh, temp gauge there is reading right around 260, it's pretty consistent, pretty windy out here today, so you know, I'm impressed that we're, we're holding those temps. Let's take a quick look, I have not looked at these in three hours, so let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, look at that, nice pullback going on already, nice looking ribs, so we're going to keep on going like this folks, not doing any spritzing, not doing anything, just cooking them, so you stay tuned and uh, We'll show you as it keeps progressing. All right, folks, six hours. Let's take a quick look at our ribs. Oh, yeah. Those are looking mighty nice. You see I got some Hasselback potatoes in there, too. If you want to check to see if they're done, all you got to do is the toothpick test. And, uh, oh, yeah. In and out like butter. These ribs. These ribs be done. So potatoes are just about done too, so we'll give you a look-see once they're plated up. And that is a nice looking meal right there. Stay tuned, folks. All right, folks, there's the final product. Uh, Hasselback potatoes, very nicely done. And uh, beef ribs from Walmart. Turned out great, folks. Took a little bite of it before, and oh man, there's a, that Cindy Lou's rub on there. Very, very nice. So this was about um, six hours for the ribs. I have them covered now for about uh, 45 minutes. And like I said, the perfect. Uh, the potatoes took, uh, those are small to medium. They're on for maybe two hours. And uh, you can see they turned out very nice too. So, hope you give this shot easy to do. I can do it. You can do it. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.